So I've figured out a way how to turn on my computer using my voice with you know who. And to make it possible, you're gonna need this right here. This is called a switch bot. All it does is press buttons. But you're also gonna need this hub because this hub talked to this button presser over here to make the voice control possible. Okay, so first off, this is not about laziness. This is about convenience and automation because I have three monitors and the computer to turn on. And if I can use my voice just to turn on everything at one time, then that's gonna make life easier. So if you're going down the road of home automation, you're trying to make everything as automated as possible. So the SwitchBot is just this little thing that sits on top of my computer right near where the power button is and it just pops out this little thing and press the button. But if you wanna add that automation to it, you're gonna need that hub because she talks to the hub and then the hub sends the signal to the button to press. So once you get everything set up because you have to download the SwitchBot app from the Play Store or the Apple Store, whichever store you have based on your device. And then once you open the app, it's gonna go through the setup procedure of trying to find whatever device that you're trying to add to the app itself, like the button presser or the hub itself. But you only need a hub if you're gonna do voice control. If you don't wanna do voice control, then you don't need a hub because the button presser is gonna work either way. So after you connect all those devices to the app, then you just need to go to the skill store and connect the SwitchBot skills to your Amazon account. Then everything is all good and set to go. The next thing you wanna do, you can just tell her to turn on the computer or whatever you have the switch turning on because you can use the switch for other things. Based on the website, you can use it to press any button, even a light switch or a switch on your coffee maker, whatever you're trying to push that doesn't have the smartness built in. But I like to do routines because I don't wanna turn everything on and off by just turn on this, turn off that, turn off this. I like to have everything done at one time. So I set up a routine for it to turn on my monitor and the computer at the same time. There's a five second delay just to give the monitors time to, you know, warm up so they can actually display something on the screen. Then five seconds later, I have the button presser pressing the button on the computer for the computer to come on. So this is what the routine looks like. The name of the routine is called Vena because that's the name of my system. Now the computer displays are connected to a smart power strip. That's how she's able to turn all the displays on at the same time. And of course, you know, if you wanna turn everything on or off, you need to put them in a group. So that's what I did. So the computer displays are in a group by themselves, monitor one, two, and three. And then of course the computer is on its own command, which is part of the switch bot. All right, so I really wanted to show you this because most of my life is automated. And if you're trying to build a smart home, you gotta figure out ways to make everything and anything as smart as possible because that's the true definition of building a smart home. Just having lights come on and off is not really smart. I mean, anybody can put smart bulbs in their home, but you have to figure out a way to automate a lot of the stuff inside your home. And these things take time. You know, you have to research and find what can do this and what can do that. So it's not gonna be overnight thing. But I've developed this thing now that I could probably write a book on how to actually automate and make your house smart. And to be honest with you, it took a lot of trial and error to come to this point. So it wasn't like it's overnight because you try one thing, it worked, you try another and it didn't work. So trial and error. All right, so if you're interested in these products, the link is gonna be down in the description. It will help you to turn your computer on and off or anything else that you're trying to turn on. It doesn't matter what it is. As long as it can press that button, then you can use this for anything. And it has little 3M sticky on the back so it will stay in place once you stick it to that. But you can remove it if you need to in the future. All right, so that's gonna be it for this video. If you enjoyed this video or it was useful to you, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I wanna thank you for taking your time for watching. Have a good one and I'll see you next time.